vanity and self-pity. Look around you, brother. You, brother, look around you. Paradise is spread upon the earth. Something not too obvious. But... Oh, that is lovely. It's so beautiful. Can I try it on? I'd love to try it on. <laughs> Need some help? Um, no, thanks. I'm just. I think I'll just look around a little bit more. Okay. Just call me if you need me. Very hard. Hmm. Do you see anything you like? Where the hell have you been? I'm sorry, Oliver. I've been looking everywhere for I you. I know, but... Look, we've I, covered this before. It I has to stop. I just wanted to buy something that... I thought you'd like. What did you get? It's very nice. I was worried. I was afraid there was going to be trouble again. Um, Oliver, darling, I, I, I want to show you something. Too much of a surprise. Barton and Mr. Robbins would like to see you. Thanks, Sean. Mr. Robbins, my ass. Afternoon. What's left of it? Sit down, Joe. That's all right, I'll stand. Michael has some concerns that he wants to bring out into the open. He suggested that we three get together and discuss them. Bottom line is, we've been carrying you for almost a year. This company survives on sales, and you're not making any. It's time for you to start producing. You know, I, I've made a lot of money for this company, and I have done it without raping my clients. That's it. You're on probation. If I don't see results in 30 days, you're gone. Your hands are shaking, Michael. What, are you drinking too much coffee these days? What are you talking about? Michael, let me talk to Jim for a moment.
Jim, I'm sorry. Things are rough around the edges, but he's brilliant. Almost as brilliant as you used to be. He's a cutthroat asshole, pal. But I need him. And I need you to produce. I can only imagine what you've been going through lately. Yeah. Been kind of a weird time for me. I won't stay down long, though. That's all I wanted to hear. Does she have a body or what? Oh. Yes, Matthew. She has a body. sort of met uh, yesterday at the... Uh... 82nd Airborne. Right. Oh, thank God. Well, I can't talk now. Um, can you meet me? Uh, are you in trouble? Please. Okay. Where? Santa Monica Pier. I can be there in half an hour. Safe. Safe? What do you mean? That guy at the mall, is he trying to... Would you mind if we walked a bit? Sure. So, um, tell me about yourself. <laughs> well, what would you like to know? Who you are. I don't know anything about you. Well, there's not much to tell, really. I sell bonds at Barton & Richards. And what else? I mean, are you married? All the nice guys are married. Yeah. Well, yes and no. Actually, um, I'm going through a separation. What happened? <sighs> That's a good question. I don't really know. Oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. Hey, somebody hooked a big one, huh? <laughs> So, uh, do you always write notes to total strangers? No. I find this rather embarrassing, actually. I'm in deep dire shit and I've got no one to turn to. The man I was with at Oliver, he's very dangerous. Our relationship is over, but he'll do anything, and I actually mean anything, to make sure I don't leave him. Well, what can I do to help? Maybe you should go to the police. What, and tell him that he might do something? I've obviously made a mistake. I'm sorry to have troubled you. Hey, wait a minute.
Stevens. I'm sorry I left that way the other day. I'm glad you called. Are you all right? Um, could we possibly meet? Uh, I, I quite understand if you can't. Uh, well, just tell me where. My mother is sick, and Oliver runs a private psychiatric clinic. That's where I first met him when I brought her to him. He was considered a pioneer. He's quite brilliant. He's also charming and witty and really rather sweet. I rather was until I moved in with him. Look, why don't you move your mother into a county hospital? It's free and that way he can't control you. Because he's threatened me, Jim. Hideous things and I'm terrified. He's crazy. I'm actually frightened of being seen out here. Um, I know someone who works here. Would you mind if we went inside? It's all right, baby. Hello? Hi, Ellie. Hello. Uh, this is Jim. Hello. Hi. Could we go back? Yes, of course. Thanks. Seems my account is down almost a quarter million dollars. I know, I know. You're down right now. We'll be back up in no time. Save the sales pitch. We made certain guarantees that I expect you to live up to. What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. We must have had some kind of miscommunication here. Then perhaps your memory needs refreshing. Either my account starts performing or the SEC will be crawling all over you. End of discussion. Good night. Have there been any calls for me today? 
no. Why, were you expecting somebody? No, no one in particular. Perhaps the man from the mall? That was a childish thing to do. Passing a note to a complete stranger. What do you want from me, Oliver? What I've always wanted. To protect you. Care for you. To protect me? Uh -huh. You're just controlling me just like everybody else. I'm not trying to control you, Ellie. You watch my every move. You won't let me talk to anyone. You won't even let me answer the phone. That was for your own good. And you know that. Don't you? Don't you? All right, then. I'm going to take a bath. Fix me a drink. Yes, we're rolling. Yes, we're rolling. we've got a major market rally. It's gotta be a rink. It is. The Fed just got the discount rate. Right. Yeah. Get on the phone and get your clients into this market now. I'm looking for Jim Stevens. He just left. He went to get a vesic. <laughs> well, thank you for sharing. It's okay. He'll be back soon. It doesn't take long. <laughs> I've seen some great ones in my time, but I swear you've got the greatest walk I've ever seen in my life. Really? Oh, really? oh hello, stranger. Very well, thank you. And your good self? Fine. Mind taking a hungry girl to lunch? I'd love to. I see you met my boss. Market's moving. He gets an override in everything we do, so he gets a little nervous when we go to lunch. Well, don't worry. I won't keep him too long. Nice meeting you. Myself, that's all. I rose very easily. Oh, he hit you, didn't he? That fucking bastard. Look, Jim, it's really not that bad. Listen, Ellie, you gotta get away from this guy. You can't let him control you. I don't want you getting involved, okay? Ellie, listen to me. Just be with me. Ellie. Wait.
people all over the place. Mm -hmm. Well, give me a cheap thrill. It's not a lucky day. Yes, he's back. Jim Stevens is back. Good to be alive, Matthew. Good to be alive. Jim. You wanted to see me? We had a discount rate cut yesterday. The market moved significantly. You went to lunch and never came back. Yeah, well, I was very hungry. Yeah. You missed a major market opportunity. And you cost this firm money. I'll fire you on the spot. Yeah, well, you can't. Because I'm on probation, remember? Is that all you've got to say? Yeah. Stevens. Jim, it's me. What's going on? Oliver had someone follow me yesterday. It's not me. Are you all right? What did he do to you? Hurt you? No, 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 no. I, but he said he won't let me see mommy anymore. All right, listen. I want you to get your things together and get out of there right now. I'm so scared. <laughs> okay, take down this address. 434 Sea View. It's in Pacific Palisades. It's my house. There's a key under the map. He made me tell you where you work. I'm sorry, but he's on his way over what? to you now. Okay, don't worry. I'll take care of Oliver. You just get out of there right now. Yeah, there's an Oliver Moran coming to see me. Would you show him into the conference room, please? Yes, Mr. Stevens. Thank you. We've never been formally introduced. I'm Oliver Moran. Jim Stevens. The note taker. The note receiver. You know, I've been sitting here trying to figure out why she chose you. I mean, it's rather melodramatic passing a note to a complete stranger. I don't know what was in the note, but I do know you should forget that you ever met this girl. Well, now, I can't imagine why you want me to do that. Look, I'm a busy man, and I assume you are, too. But Ellie's a very sick girl who needs my help. She's sick. You're using her mother to control her. That's pathetic. So that's what she told you. And you believed her. But of course, why wouldn't you? You're a perfect victim for her. Look, uh, do I have to pay for this analysis, or is this like a free house call? On that note, let me give you some free advice that might help you. One, you have no idea what you're getting yourself into. And two, Stevens, you're completely out of your league. And you are wasting your time. You may get hurt. You listen to me. You touch a hair on that girl's head, and you wish you never met me. And if you continue to see her, you will get hurt. You can count on that. Any time.
rest. So, what did he say? He said a lot of things. What kind of things? You know, he's obviously crazy. He's a very persuasive person. Mm -hmm. I'm sure he is. But he didn't persuade me. Beautiful. And this your little boy? Yeah. What's his name? It's Kevin. He's adorable. Jim, um, I don't know if this is such a good idea. I mean, this is your home and it must feel really. Shh. Here. Accommodation's great. Room service is promising. <laughs> Only promising? I don't want to outstay my welcome. Yeah, well, why don't you let me be the judge of that, okay? So, let's see who kept calling last night. Ellie? Ellie, are you there? Pick up the phone. Ellie, you should come home tonight. I can help. Surprise, surprise. Ellie, it's been two days. If you think this behavior is of value, I think we should discuss it. Stevens, you should have listened to me. If anything happens to her, I will hold you personally accountable. You can count on it. I'm sorry. Big Jim, hey. are you bringing the goddess to the cabin? You betcha. Oh, man. I don't think my heart can take it. Well, I'll have the paramedics standing by for you. <laughs> See you later. Adios. Thanks.
Jones. You okay? What the hell was that all about? Restraining order? You gotta be kidding me. The guy tried to run me down with his car. He's met assault with a deadly weapon or something? The problem is you didn't actually see the guy. You got no license number, right? There's a lot of Mercedes in this town. I told you the guy came to my office. He threatened me. He wants his lady back. Why doesn't she want to go back with him? Because he's a violent son of a bitch. That's why. I understand. But I can't do a hell of a lot more right now. Well, what does the guy have to do? Run me down and drag me down some on a boulevard? I know how you feel. It's just the way it is. It's a system. You know, if the police aren't going to do anything, I'm going to call them myself. Jim, I don't think we should see each other for a while. About. It's not a game, Jim. This man is capable of anything. Hey, 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 don't you worry. I can take care of things, all right? I'm worried about Mommy. He's not gonna hurt your mother. Ellie, it's, it's me that he's after. Welcome. Hello, Matthew. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Let me take this. Thank you. Hi, I'm Susie. Hi. Nice to meet you. Hi, Jim. Hi, Susie. How are you? Good. Oh, wow. Hey, you really thanks for going to this place, Matthew. Hey, man, one life and it's over, you know what I mean? It's so pretty. Well, come see your room. It's absolutely charming. Yeah, it's great. Why don't we let them be comfortable? Yeah, sure. And listen, don't forget you guys. Two hours, barbecue. Two hours. Two hours. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> oh, we're going to do with ourselves. Hmm. <laughs> mind boggles. Oh, it does indeed. <laughs> My place. You know oh, well. Oh, I'm glad you told me. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> um, we need some more bun. I'm telling you, man, they're psychiatrists. I mean, you know, most of them are wacko. They're always the worst guy. Yeah. Well, this guy's pushed about as far as he's gonna go, mm -hmm. that's for sure. Uh, why don't you let me check him out for you, okay? Why not? They keep records on these guys. Yeah, right. Jim, let me tell you. Ellie is great. I mean, one in a fucking million. She's all right, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Come on, let's join you, man. Hey. Hope you're talking about us. Mm -hmm. Hello. I guess your ears are burning, huh? Well, I'll just less. <laughs> Would you like some ketchup? It's all wet. You want some salad? Um, I'd love some. Thank you. Mm -hmm. thinking I'm not thinking I'm appreciating <laughs> Come on And what are you appreciating Life water down there. It's great. Great. Coming in. Put your suit on. Sonny Matthew. 
Exactly. Good night. Thank you for a lovely day. I'm oh, oh. glad you had a good time. Yeah. So enjoyable. Yeah. It's great here, it really is. We'll see you guys in the yeah. morning. All right. Not good night. Not too early. <laughs> good night. Good night. All right, let's see what you can do now. I might have lost the battle, but I haven't lost the war. Oh, I can't believe you said My move. Thanks a lot, man. We really had a great time. Unless you guys are welcome anytime. So why don't you step in my office for a second? What's going on? I want you to have this. Oh, no, man, I could No, it's okay. Don't worry about it. It's not registered. Come on, do it for me. I don't think it's time to get in yet. Yeah, the rate cut led to a temporary spike in it. I don't think the market's bottomed out yet. Uh, right, well, I'll give you a call when I think it's time. Sure, no problem. <laughs> well, you got a fucking crystal ball. Did I really just hear that conversation? Apparently half of it. You just passed up a commission. I just did the right thing. You ought to try it sometime. It'll be an experience for you.
15255, five, Steve, you over? Look, I gotta get some results here. I got someone shooting at me in my own front yard. My girlfriend's missing. I don't know where she... Jim! Oh my God! What's happened? Are you all right? Yeah, fine. Just... I, I came in and you weren't here. Anymore. Daddy, what's happened? Stevens, I sent somebody to question Dr. Moran. Did, did you just say question him? Look, I know it's frustrating, but you're just going to have... What do you think put the holes in that tree out there? Termites? Don't wait. Don't get smart with me. Now, you get a witness to ID him, and I'll arrest him. Oh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> I don't believe it. Well, what are we supposed to do, anyway? Off the record, defend yourself as best you can. I'll be in touch. I can't believe this. Incredible. Who are you calling? Oliver. Let me talk. Hello, this is Dr. Moran. Moran, Jim Stevens here. You're a really lousy shot. What are you talking about? Oh, now you listen to me, motherfucker. You want to play rough with me? I'll... Excuse me, what are you ranting about? Don't play games with me. This has gone too far. If you calm down, possibly I can help you. Oh, fuck you! All right. For the next few days, I don't want you going out of here without me. I don't want you answering the door. I don't want you answering the phone. You understand? Robbins lost the good doctor 250,000. Oh. Excessive trading. Except if you look at the books now, he lost it on four trades. So, Robbins churned him and now he's covered it up. Probably because he was threatened with an SEC action. What about the doctor? He's got bucks like she said. But Jim, some things just don't wash. Talk to me. There's no clinic. What? He had one, but then he lost his license. You sure? I'm positive. He works out of his home in Bel Air, some sort of research on some new therapy. Mr. Stevens, Mr. Robbins would like to see you in his office right away. What? Uh, close the door. Barton's on another one of his many vacations. Frankly, I don't think he'd have the guts to do what I'm about to do. What, uh, another lecture on sleaze selling? I don't want you to sell. I want you out of here. <laughs> uh, all right, can we cut to the punchline? I got a lot of work to do. Not okay. anymore. You're gone. I convinced Barton to fire you. And fuck you. Is that it? That's it for you. This makes me very happy. I want you to know that. Well, Michael, I'm happy that you're happy. Tough guy to the end. You're such a pathetic asshole. How a girl like Ellie could let someone like you touch her is beyond me.
What about the Moran account? The one you churn covered up. You don't want Barton and the SEC to find out about that, then you better stay out of my face. You understand me? Good. You got our first deal, Robbins. And I'm beginning to like it around here. I think I'll stick around for a while. Have a nice day. Have a nice lunch, Mr. Stevens. Sneaking up on me like that. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. I just was looking what for you. What are you doing here, anyway? Well, excuse me for living, Jim. I found this. I thought it might be of some use. It's a, some sort of trade agreement between Oliver and Morgans. It's a promissory note. Where'd you get this? I found it on Oliver's desk when I saw Robin's names on it. I thought. What were you that... doing at Oliver's? I was visiting my mother. Oh, really? How was your mother, Ellie? Well, considering I've seen so little of her recently, she's doing fine. Tell me something. Where is your mother? What the fuck are you talking about? She's at the clinic, of course. There is no clinic. <gasps> of course there's a clinic. Oliver lost his license a year ago. Yes, so he works out of the house. So what, you just give your mother over to a discredited shrink, is that it? Are you cross-examining me, Jim? You lied to me, Ellie. You haven't given me a straight answer to one question I've asked you. Mm -hmm. I don't have to listen to this guy. Where's your mother, Ellie? Where's your mother? Will you calm down and perhaps we can talk? Will you let go of me? We'll settle this right now. I'm going to go upstairs and call your boyfriend. Hey! We can't let questions go for him. Come on. You can't control me. Yeah, yeah he's controlling you. Get it. <laughs> So go home. I'll cover for you. Calm down, Ellie, calm down, now, okay? And tell me what's the matter. He said he killed her. All right, listen to me. Ellie, listen to me. I want you to go in the house and lock the door and don't come out for anything, you understand? Okay? Go on. I'm going to go to Moran's and I'm going to get your mother. Now go inside, now. No, no, no. Listen, wait, wait, wait. I need a key. He keeps one 
Over the front door, there's a ledge. He keeps the key there. Now be careful. Go back in. Lock the door. Go on. Oh, he has a gun. He has a gun. Um, just in his office drawer, there's the right hand drawer, keeps the gun there. Please be careful, Jim, because he really knows how to use it. Be back. Go inside. Go on. Planning on killing me, Mr. Stevens? I assure you that won't be necessary. Where's Ellie's mother? There's no need to point that thing at me. I'm unarmed. Bear with me a few moments. I'm sure you'll be satisfied that you have nothing to fear from me. Where is she? Follow me. How much do you really know about Elliot? Hmm? For example, did you know that she lost her virginity when she was 14? Your father. What? Ellie has the beginning stages of paranoid schizophrenia. It's a very nasty disease. I wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. She needs my help, not yours. What a crock of shit. Look, I didn't come here to talk about Ellie. I came here to get her mother, so get her. Ellie's mother died when Ellie was nine years old. Oh, fuck you! You know. You're really trying my patience. Damn it! Does smoking really bother you that much, Stevens? I, I thought that you were lucky for both of us that you're not a very good shot. But I do seem to be losing quite a bit of blood here. In the downstairs bathroom, on the left cabinet, there's a first aid kit. Could you please? Oh, if you could be so kind. Please. Mm. Thank you. The left hand side.
wounded him, he was okay. I went into the bathroom to get a first aid kit. Someone else came in and put three bullets in him. What the fuck is going on here? And you don't know where Ellie is? Well, she was supposed to wait for me here. She wasn't supposed to leave the house. Man, I can't believe this is fucking happening. Hello? Hello? I saw you. I saw what you did. Who is this? was it? It was him. Who? Oh. The guy in the house. The guy who shot Moran. I'd like to know. I have your gun. Is it him? Oh, Jesus. Is it him again? He's framing me. I was wondering if I could talk to you about Dr. Oliver Moran. Can we come in? Yeah, sure. <clears throat> what about Dr. Moran? He was murdered. Oh, why do you want to talk to me about that? Yeah, I mean, you recently filed a complaint against Dr. Moran. Unfortunately, that makes you a suspect. You got anything you want to tell us? No, I, mean, I don't know anything about it. Where's your girlfriend? Maybe she can tell us something. Uh, she had to go visit some friends. I don't know when she's going to be back. Go ahead. No, that's OK. I, I, I have an answering machine in the kitchen, and it'll pick up. Might be important. I think so, yes. I think we should meet and talk. Come alone, or she dies. Are you still with me? Yes, yes, I see. Meet me at the old warehouse on Kingsley and Sunset at midnight. Great. That would be good. Thank you. Good news. Yeah, yeah. Listen, have your girlfriend contact me in the morning. And if you remember anything, I can be reached at this number anytime. Party's over, asshole. Good night, sweetheart. Drop it. Drop the gun. 
Rapid Now. Hello, partner. Roberts. Put your hand behind your head before I blow it off. You fucked with the wrong guy. Where's Ellie? She's in my bed waiting for me. Fuck you. What have you done with her? You don't get it, do you, asshole? No, I think I get it. But why kill Moran? Innocent shit with me. You know, I've never shot anyone before. Put the gun down, Michael. Fuck you, scumbag. Ellie told me what you were gonna do. Ellie didn't tell you shit. She told me. You and Oliver. We're gonna go to Barton. And the SEC. Take my job. What? Ellie told me everything. Do you really think a girl like her would stay with a loser like you? You know what I'm gonna do after I kill ya? I'm gonna go home and take a shower. And I'm gonna fuck your girl. How do you like that?
Ellie? Ellie? This must look like, but would you let me explain? Sure. Go ahead. Michael told me he had your gun and that he was going to the police. He gave me a very simple ultimatum. Either I come here or he turn you in. That's quite an outfit. What you don't seem to understand is, Jim, I'd do anything to protect. something stupid like go to the police Jim they won't believe you they'll just throw you in jail Michael followed you to all of us he saw what you did Jim Robbins told me that you told him I was gonna go there Seems I underestimated you. Oliver was telling the truth. It was you in the car. You shot at me. Oliver had to die. You weren't man enough to do it, so I took care of it myself. You're insane. <laughs> oh, that's what Oliver said. Look what happened to him. Come down, Ellie. Give me one good reason why, Jim. You don't want to kill me. You think you're so special? You're no different from the others. Every time a man fucks me, he wants to control me. I never wanted to control you. Oh, no? I don't want you answering the phone. I don't want you answering the door. I don't want other men looking at you. You men, you're all the same. Just pathetic animals that have to have and have and have, be it your wife or your wife's sister or my best friend or even your own daughter. I'm not your father, Ellie. You really believe you're above all this, don't you? For you're just the same as my father. No one is ever gonna hurt me like that again. Put the gun down, Ellie. I do. Give me the gun. so much to trust you. It's over, Ellie. It's all over. I think so, Jim. Oh. 
Let her go. Cuff her. Hey, man, shit happens. Get the wire. Watch his arm. We got somebody outside to take a look at that for you. You did good. <laughs> 